It's a tale as old as sports. An established star has an off year, and people begin to wonder if this is the beginning of their long slide into mediocrity. Then they come roaring back with a season for the ages, putting all doubts to rest as to who sits at the pinnacle of the sport. After having somewhat of a down year of its own in 2022, MLB The Show 23 has returned to claim its crown as the undisputed king of simulation baseball. With a long list of upgrades, gameplay shakeups, and an incredible new mode that redefines what the sports genre is capable of. The most significant addition to MLB The Show 23 is the Negro Leagues mode, a dedicated single-player mode focused on the legends of the league that ran parallel to the MLB from 1920 to 1948. Eight different players are highlighted, from the legendary Satchel Paige to the groundbreaking Jackie Robinson. Each is lovingly introduced by Negro Leagues Baseball Museum President Bob Kendrick with missions that recreate exciting moments from their careers. One mission begins with the story of Rube Foster's devastating fadeaway, a pitch known today as a screwball. Christy Matheson threw the pitch all the way into the National Baseball Hall of Fame that he learned from Rube Foster. Then it's up to you to get two strikeouts with it in a game. This mode is a stunning achievement. The video packages that accompany the players are poignant, funny, well-produced, and lay out brilliantly what makes these guys giants in the history of the sport. Kendrick speaks with tremendous passion and charisma. He tells amazing stories, like when Satchel Paige called in the entire field of players to sit around him while he struck out the side in a game, which makes taking control of Paige and playing out that scene right after a thrill. The Negro League's storyline focuses on the triumphs of the players, but that doesn't mean it shies away from the prejudice of the era and the reason the league exists to begin with. It formed long before the civil rights movement and filled the stands with people of all colors, even as the players featured in this league faced racism and segregation. It's an important account that transcends baseball and a credit to developer Sony San Diego for its inclusion. Pair that with thoughtfully recreated uniforms, equipment, and crowds from yesteryear, and it all ties together into a cohesive package that's equal parts captivating history lesson and satisfying challenge. Diamond Dynasty has undergone a number of smart changes. The basic idea is the same. You complete challenges or spin stubs to unlock cards, which can then be used to assemble a team. The cards range from today's players, to stars from the World Baseball Classic, to the featured players from the Negro Leagues. It's great for scratching that live service itch for those that enjoy the grind in ways that feel compelling, but not coercive. This year brings with it the introduction of sets and seasons that effectively act like the show's battle pass, and they are a bit of a mixed blessing. Some modes, such as Ranked Competitive, will be locked to specific card sets based on the current season. The way that injects some variety from season to season could be interesting, but it also means that cards from each set will eventually become obsolete, requiring many rosters to be rebuilt as time goes on. Cards with exceptionally high ratings are available from day one, but that planned obsolescence is a tough pill to swallow. There's at least a separate core set that will stick around, and you can have one wild card on your roster from any set, which does help take some of the sting out. It's hard to predict how this new system will play out over a full year of Diamond Dynasty, but it definitely sucks some of the joy out of unlocking high-end players in the short term. Thankfully, there are new captain cards that can bestow team-wide bonuses in certain circumstances. A captain series Bryce Harper, for example, provides a growing bonus as you add more players from the All-Star series to your squad, which should result in some interesting and unique team builds. New team affinity programs make it easier for you to earn cards for your favorite roster too, and the many tweaks like this taken together reinvigorate a great mode that otherwise may have been in danger of growing stale. It seems like all of the show's modes have received at least some updates for the better. Road to the Show, which puts you in the career of a created player working your way up to the big leads, has added an easy-to-use face-scanning feature and a long-needed overhaul to its UI. 
slowly building your attributes up remains as compelling as ever. Information about how the individual plays you make affect your progression is given in even greater detail as well, and the challenges offered at crucial moments in games remain exceptionally rewarding to complete. The show has finally been updated to reflect the current MLB rulebook, with major implications for the Dynasty mode in particular. There are new rules dictating defensive shifts, and now two-way players can be used as both designated hitter and pitcher in the same game, fixing a glaring issue affecting stars like Shohei Otani in last year's edition. The scouting and drafting system has been noticeably improved as well, which is great for front office aficionados. Custom practice now even lets you designate which pitches and locations you will see. Have troubles with sliders away? Cue them up, then start hacking away until you get the motion down. This is a massive improvement and makes it much more effective at a skill building tool. Gorgeous and lifelike recreations of stadiums make it easy to get lost in the spectacle of Major League Baseball. Team-specific VFX packages introduce games with a more personal touch, and a new batch of animations, like the Mariner's signature victory dance, push it all closer and closer to matching what you see on TV. But baseball is just as much about the sounds as it is the sights, and the show smartly rebuilt much of the audio from last year's release. Whether it's capturing the subtle reverb in the stadium following the crack of a bat, or the concussion pop of a glove that catches a speeding line drive, the explosive power of baseball played at the major league is an essential part of the sport's essence, and it's recreated brilliantly here. A much deeper pool of recorded dialogue by the commentator crew, now in their second year, is also readily apparent, with fewer instances of the same lines being repeated ad nauseum. A 3-2 final score in this one. They hang on to win it by a run. The on-the-field play has been stellar for years, but there's some smart improvements here too that are worth mentioning. Just like previous iterations, simple control options like one-button hitting are great at allowing anyone to play, while opting into more complex options like zone hitting rewards players who want to reach for higher skill ceiling. The addition of a moving target on button accuracy throws adds a challenging new wrinkle to playing defense. It's a small adjustment that adds a surprising amount of finesse and increases the likelihood of errant plays. Too often in previous years as it felt like every defender was an all-star and this change is a welcome dose of realism. After a somewhat disappointing 2022, it's amazing how far Sony San Diego has pushed MLB The Show 23. It seems like every element has received attention, whether it's the improved scouting in Dynasty, updates to match the current MLB rulebook, or a vastly more helpful practice mode. This remains a gorgeous showcase for baseball, with some of the most lifelike sights and sounds to behold in a sports game. It remains to be seen if sets and seasons in Diamond Dynasty will frustrate in the long run, but the crowning achievement this year is the Negro Leagues mode. This playable piece of baseball history is a triumph, presented with care, grace, and attention to detail. It's courageous and bold, like the pioneers it highlights, and it's astonishing to experience something so affecting from a baseball game. If for nothing else, that alone makes MLB The Show 23 a must play. For more on digital sports, check out our reviews of NBA 2K23 and FIFA 23. And for everything else, stick with IGN.